you are busy, you're on the go, you don't have a lot of time to prepare your food, this is for you. My pre-workout meal, my breakfast, I like to call it my high protein blueberry cobbler. You guys are going to love this. I'm hungry, let's go ahead and get into it. You will need a little bit of frozen mixed berries, a little bit of TVP just for our topping. Our protein source is going to be our veg vanilla protein. You really need a vanilla protein for this one. The most important ingredient for this is the Pride Foods Cream of Rice Blueberry Muffin. Because it is flavored like a blueberry muffin, it tastes amazing. You don't have to add a lot of sugar. You don't have to add a lot of artificial sweeteners. It's already sweetened with monk fruit. It can minimize the calories that you're adding to your meal and it tastes amazing. <laughs> A little bit of sugar-free maple syrup. This is optional. You can also use regular maple syrup, but that will increase the carbohydrates and the calories. A little bit of stevia and a little bit of almond milk just to mix it all together and get the consistency right. Everyone's macros are going to be different. I'm in prep, so I have lower macros at the moment. You need to adjust the portion sizes based off your own macros. If you follow my portions exactly, this entire meal will be 340 calories, 30 grams of protein, four grams of fat and 42 grams of carbs. This is also a great source of calcium, iron, and potassium. We need to create our base, which is going to be our carbohydrate, which is the blueberry muffin cream of rice by Pride Foods. Get a good microwavable bowl. If you do want to make this on the stove top, you can. I'm going to do about 35 grams. You just put it in. Now you're just going to add water. It's going to vary depending on how much you use. I usually just eyeball it a little bit over maybe half a cup and then if you need to add more you can always add more. I would recommend giving it a nice little stir before you put it in the microwave if you're microwave. I put it in for about a minute and 30 seconds and then I'm gonna check on it and stir it. Now we need to make our blueberry syrup topping. I'm gonna be using my frozen berries. You can do mixed berries, you can do blackberries, you can do raspberries, blueberries, whatever you prefer. The more blueberries the more it's gonna be like a blueberry cobbler. I'm gonna do 45 grams of of frozen berries. You can just put it in the cream of rice frozen. It will eventually melt. If you microwave it, it's gonna produce this juice, which is going to be so good in the cream of rice. So that's what we're going for. Cream of rice is out. It's not thick and creamy and a really good consistency. You just wanna stir it. Just put it back in for another 30 seconds. This is more so the consistency you want it. It's pretty thick, kind of like oats. And now that this is done, I'm gonna put these berries in the microwave for about 45 seconds. You may need more or less time based on how your microwave is. Now we are going to put our protein in our cream of rice. So your best bet is to use a vanilla. I love the veg vanilla. It has a great amino acid profile compared to a lot of other vegan proteins. Non-GMO, every single ingredient is organic and it is third party tested. If your protein is not third party tested, you need to get a new protein. Whatever is on the label may or may not be true. They can put whatever in it they don't have to disclose it there's been a lot of heavy metals that have been found in protein powders and that's why third-party testing is so important you know that what's on the label is what's in your food 35 grams of protein powder I do actually weigh my protein powder I have found over the years a lot of the scoops are inaccurate I'm in prep so this is like kind of a big deal for me if you are just a lifestyle you know just generally trying to be healthy and get in shape you don't really need to stress about it. Okay, so that's gonna give me 25 grams of protein from that 35 grams of protein powder. Now we're going to mix this together. It gets a little thick. So this is where our almond milk is going to come in. A little bit of that, okay. That was actually a lot, but it should be fine. Let's just give that a good stir. Actually, that was perfect. It smells so good. It smells literally like somebody made blueberry muffins. This is more so the consistency. You want it. It's going to be super thick. This is optional. This is where I like to add a little bit of stevia. Sprinkle it in there because I like things really, really sweet. Some people don't really like overpowering sweets. If you are that person, just stick with the protein powder and the blueberry muffin because the berries are also gonna add some sweetness. Our berries look perfect. This is what I was talking about. They have like a nice little juice to them. We're gonna make kind of like a blueberry syrup, if you will, with that. 
And for that, one squirt of this sugar-free maple syrup from Prozis. You're just gonna mix all of that together. I also just kind of like mash the blueberries as I'm doing it and it just like kind of creates more creamier, thicker jam. I would recommend tasting it before. Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna pour this over my cream of rice. Mm, see what I mean? That juice and that syrup makes it so freaking good. And now what I do is take my TVP. I use about four grams of TVP and this is gonna be like a granola. Actually, we're gonna do more like one gram. The TVP just gives it some crunch. It's kind of like a granola, if you will. I love it, but like I said, maybe try it before you put it all over your food. And another completely optional add-on, coconut ready whip to the top. I measure this as well because this is another way that you can add up calories and they're very sneaky. Two tablespoons is only 10 calories. You would be surprised at how much two tablespoons really is. So I'm gonna show you exactly how much two tablespoons is. That right there, your two tablespoons. Not very much at all. You could definitely load up on this stuff, easily add 100 calories to your meal. And I've made that mistake before, actually. I would just kind of eyeball a tablespoon and like load up my spoon. I was adding a ton of calories without even really realizing it. Pride Foods, you can order this online as well. They have a ton of different flavors. Like I have the chocolate brownie as well. They have a creamy peanut butter, a coconut. Really, they're all good. I love them, I'm obsessed with them. And you can use my discount code as well, Miss Meatless, to save 50 Give these products a try if you are a vegan woman trying to build muscle and lose weight. This is a great pre-workout for you. Cream of rice digests super quickly compared to oats, so it may be something that you want to try and see how you like the benefits. I hope you guys enjoy your delicious blueberry cobbler breakfast. Make some gains. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. See you guys next time.